Good boy. We're coming into town. We're coming in for a beer. Larimer is a town of 11 people in the middle of nowhere. What made you fall in love with Larimer? The best question would be, why are you still in Larimer? There's no cell reception, no police station. I've got no listen to <laughs> There's nothing aside from one pub and a pet crocodile. He has a habit of biting. <laughs> <laughs> This place was excellent. The whole hippie thing going on. That's where Paddy used to live. That's where he went missing from there. The last time I saw Paddy was December the 16th. Every three hours, somebody goes missing. Every three hours. That's straight, man. We haven't got that many people. I reckon there's something funny about this. No break and entry, there's no sign of anything. <laughs> I said to him, I know why you're looking in my freezer. You're looking for Paddy, aren't you? Everyone in Larimer was a suspect. They all know what happened to him. There was utter hatred in this town. I'd smack him in the mouth a few times. Paddy's caused a lot of trouble. <laughs> he will never, ever let it go. I hate it, it does. It really defies belief. Really? They know what happened. They have to know. Paddy was put in as a pies. He was fed to the crocodile. That's why the crocodile's fat. They burned it down. <laughs> Bloody evil. There's three sides to every story. There's yours, there's mine, and then there's the truth.